welcome to this part one of the chapter 14 which is on statistics the mean of a given data let x1 x2 x3 up to xn be the n values of the variable x the mean is denoted by x bar and is defined as x bar equal x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 up to xn divided by n what is n n is the number the total number of observation or the n values of the variables okay this x bar or the means is given by the summation of xi i is starting from 1 up to n that's mean x1 x2 x3 x4 up to xn divided by n where this sign is the summation sign that's mean uh, you have to add the value of xi from 1 up to n okay in words we can say that in simple words we can say that arithmetic mean is the sum of all observation divided by the total number of observations the sum of all observation divided by the total number of observation okay now uh, to understand uh, clear uh, more mm, mm, about this let us uh, do with this example find the arithmetic mean of the number from 1 2 3 up to 10 that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 which is the arithmetic mean the which is the mid we can simply say uh, the mid value from 1 to 10 definitely it will be from 1 to 10 1 to um, 5 and 6 to 10 1 to 5 will be 5 values 6 to 10 will be 4 values that's mean there the the uh, the mean should be somewhere between 5 and 6 okay let us find out the mean of this the mean of 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 and 10 is given by x bar i mean where uh, some uh, summation of xi where i is 1 up to 10 that means uh, from starting from 1 up to 10 that means uh, x bar will be the sum of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 divided by the total number of submission which is 10 the sum of 1 to 3 up to 10 how how much it is from 1 up to 10 the sum how much it is 55 divide by 10 if you divide 55 by 10 you just uh, mm, this mal will go to the left one place because you are dividing by one zero this mean it will be the mean will be 5.5 it's clear hence the rhythmic mean or simply we can call the mean is 5.5 okay mean of the group data this uh, the, this data that we have uh, this example that I've shown to you is just uh, any uh, a raw data which have not been grouped. Now to find out the the mean of the group data, there are three methods to f um, to find out. What are those methods? They are the direct method. Second is the shortcut method, that is the assume mean method, and the third one is the step deviation method okay before proceeding ahead let us first learn the definition of some important terms which will which will be uh, discussing in this chapter okay class interval we will come across uh, so many time with this class interval frequency class mark uh, let us uh, define uh, what does it mean by class mark class mark it is the numerical width of any class in a particular distribution 
it is defined as the difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit this it is the it is the difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit that means in this in a, in a class interval in uh, suppose if you take any distribution suppose from 1 up to the distribution are from 1 up to 100 that means to 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 find out uh, this from 0 to 100 these are the raw data if you have to group to make it in a group data I mean you have to you have to form some kind of group so that you can uh, you you can group them separately isn't it and what kind of group can you can you make to uh, to separate this data from 1 to 100 you can you can separate you can take uh, suppose if uh, the frequency is very is uh, not that much uh, big I mean frequency is less you can you can take the class interval from 0 to 20 20 to 40 40 to 60 60 to 80 80 to 100 this mean uh, in any class interval there there should be the lower class limit and the upper class limit and and in between the different uh, the difference between these two is called as the class interval the difference between two, these two class limit is called as the class interval and now the next is what is frequency frequency is the number of times the observation occur in that particular or in any particular class interval now suppose uh, the data that have uh, that are um, the raw data which uh, are from 0 to 100 now if you consider the class interval from 0 to 10 you have to look for those data how many times does those data occur in the interval 0 to 10 now suppose uh, there are there are number 5 there is number 8 um, and then number 20 45 60 80 95 and so on okay now just in the interval 0 to 10 there are how many there are only 5 and 8 that means only two times they occur in that class therefore that should be uh, that will be the frequency that or the number of time that the observation occur in that particular class okay now the class map what is class mark class mark is the mid value the mid value of the class mark uh, no the mid value of the class interval is called the class mark okay the mid value of the class interval is called a class mark yeah uh, The mid value of the class interval is called as the class mark and this is given by class mark equal upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2. This is the formula for finding the class mark of any class interval. Class mark you have to find out the um, uh, is uh, is the midpoint you we can say that is midpoint of any class interval it is the mid value or the midpoint of the class interval and is given by class mark equal upper limit plus lower limit divided by two okay now you will understand clearly when we go we come across with solving with the problem here now we'll do the first one a question from the text Find the mean by direct method. The question here are uh, from number one to four. We have to follow by this direct method to find out the means. Okay. The first one from here is given a class interval. See here. The class interval they are zero to ten, ten to twenty, 
Okay, these are the class interval. If there is, uh, why why these are called the group data? Because if is if it's not group them separately, then the data will be from zero to fifty. It will be a big uh, a single data uh, of observation consisting from zero up to fifty. Now, so, um, uh, maybe in your locality also. Uh, when you when you try to to form a team football team what you what you are doing you try to group uh, the participant according to their age group those who are below uh, 10 to 15 you you group them separately uh, junior senior isn't it junior senior like that you group them separately why we why do we need to make group because in order to differentiate this group from the other group we have to differentiate uh, in even in uh, in church also there is uh, infant intermediate senior and these are what are these things these are the uh, the type in which type that we are grouping the observation or grouping the data now here in this number one from 0 to 10 the observation that occur in this class interval is 12 it's not that it's not that uh, from 0 to 10 the data is 12 you can see how how from 0 to 10 there is 12 now suppose uh, is uh, is like uh, to understand this is like this now from uh, suppose in a in your locality the age of uh, age of um, children from 0 to 10 month how many of them are there there are 12 this is the number this 12 is the number okay it's not that particular child or that particular baby or suppose if uh, for example is the number of this 12 is the number of, observ of observation now from 0 to 12 in this class interval mm, from 0 to 10 the number of observation the number of observation that occur in this class interval is 12 the same thing from 10 to 20 they are 16 20 to 30 they are 6 30 to 40 they are 7 40 to 50 they are 9 now we have to find out the mean from 0 to in this uh, given group of data you have to find out the mean how will you find out the mean by the direct method now in order to do that what in order to do that what we have to prepare it we need to prepare a table in this form uh, in the first column, we will write the class interval as is given in the equation. The second column, you will write the frequency. This also as per the data given in the question. The third column, you will write for class mark. What is class mark? Class mark is the mid value of a class interval. 0 to 10. Upper limit plus lower limit. 0 plus 10 is 10 divided by 2, 5. Okay, 10 plus 20, 30, divided by 2, 15. 20 and 30, if you plus, you'll get 50, 50 divided by 2, 25. 30 plus 40, 70, 70 divided by 2, 35. 40, 50, 90, 90 divided by 2, 45. This means, uh, these are the, uh, no need to plus, uh, you just look at this also. From 0 to 10, definitely you can say 5 is the midpoint. 10 to 20, you can definitely, you just looking at this, you can say that 15 is midpoint, mid value, isn't it? No need to add 10 plus 20, 30 divided by 2, 15. Just looking at this, just by looking at this, you can easily say that the, the mid value of 10 and 20 is 15, 20 and 30 is 25. 30 and 40 is 
35 40 and 50 is 45 okay this plasma is the mid value of a class interval now the product of xi and fi this frequency actually it is the f i Frequency is the Fi. Class mark is the Xi. Product of Xi and Fi. That means product of 12 and 5. 12 multiply 5, 60. 16 multiply 15, 240. 6 multiply 25, 150. 7 multiply 35, 245. 9 multiply 45, 405. You do the multiplication, you will get like this. Okay. Now the summation of Fi, that means you have to sum. 12 plus 16 is 28, 28 plus 6, 34, 34, 7, 41, 41 plus 9, 50. Now the, the summation of xi, 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 fi also will be the sum of 60, 240, 150, 245 and 45. Uh, on adding all these things, you will get 1100 as the sum of xi, fi. Thus, the mean, x bar is the mean, is given by this formula, summation of xi, fi by summation of fi. What is fi? Actually, fi is the number of observation only. Uh, but uh, since these are the group data, therefore, the sum of observation will be the sum of frequent C. Now X bar will be X uh, summation of X I F I we are getting 1100. Summation of F I is 50. 1100 divided by 50 you are getting 22. Hence the mean of the given data is 22. It's clear? Now we go to the next number 2. Uh, here also the same thing is these are the given data these are the class interval and these are the frequency of the corresponding class interval now in order to find out the mean we have to do we have to prepare the table for finding the means the class interval and frequency is the same thing as what is given in the question this class interval frequency is already given in the problem now we need to find out these two column class mark and the product of xi fi class mark 10 and 20 10 and 20 which is midpoint 15 20 30 25 30 40 35 40 50 45 50 60 55 60 70 65 and the product of xi and this xi with fi 15 with 11 165 25 with 15 375 20 multiply 35 it is 700 30 multiply 45 1350 14 multiply 55 720 10 multiply 65 is 650 the same thing here you find the sum of fi and the sum of xi fi sum of 11 plus 15 plus 20 plus 30 plus 14 plus 10 the sum of this you will get 100 and the sum of all these value you will get as 4010 thus the mean will be x sum of sum of xi fi divided by summation of fi which is 4010 divided by 100 here you are dividing by two decimal, uh, two, two zero. Therefore, decimal will go one here, one here. That means forty point ten. Forty point ten, or you can simply write forty point one because after decimal point zero has no value at all. You can add you or you can either 
um, remove it uh, the value of the number will not change at all okay hence the mean of the given data is 40.1 now the next with the number three this is the given class interval 25 and 35 35 45 45 55 okay up to 75 and the frequency is given here now uh, this uh, the first column and second column will write as it is given here in this question now the class mark what will be the class mark 25 to 30 30 to 35 this means 30 will be the midpoint the mid value 30 to 40 40 to 45 mean 40 will be the mid value isn't it the same thing with this also Same thing will will 65 70 will be 70 now you find the product of xi with fi 6 with 3 6 3 180 18 18 mean 180 10 40 400 8 multiply 5 40 400 12 multiply 6 is uh, 72 so 120 4 multiply 7 28 that is 280 okay the sum of xi the sum of fi sum of this and the, and the this value will be 40 the sum of uh, this value 180 400 470 and 280 it is 1980 thus the mean will be how much summation of xi phi by summation of fi that is 1980 by 40 would give us 49.5 okay here you cancel you can cancel 0 and 0 then divide 198 by 4 you'll get 49.5 and the mean of the given data is 49.5 okay now the next number 4 with uh, this given class interval 0 200 100 to 200 200 300 300 400 up to 500 and this is the given frequency the same when we prepare a table the class interval and frequency will copy from the question the class mark from 0 to 100 0 to 100 what is the mid value it is 50 100 to 1 200 mid value is 150 here also 250 350 450 okay now the the product of xi and fi 6 multiply 50 6 multiply 530 that is 300 9 multiply 150 you will get 1350 15 multiply 25 you getting 3750 12 multiply 350 equal 4200 8 multiply 450 you will get 3600 now find the sum of uh, all the frequency you will get 50 the sum of xifi you will get 1300 13200 thus the mean will be assumption of xifi divided by assumption of fi that is 13200 divided by 50 which will give you 264 and the mean of the given data will be 264 is clear this is the end of the part one on the next class we shall discuss with the next part which is part two on this same chapter okay bye to all of you and if you liked uh, the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel okay